That's my blind yo. She can't see a thing. But as long as she sticks with the flock, she's fine. But she can't see a thing. Oop, she moved because she felt the air move. But she can't see a thing. If I did that to any other sheep, they'd move out of the way. So here's, you know, this is um, ebony. So if I move ebony away slightly, now if I do that, you see her eyes blinking because she thinks I'm going to hit her. Do you see that? The eye move, closes because she thinks I'm going to hit her. Where is this yo? And she's too far away for me to reach in now. But um, she can't see anything. So she doesn't react. Those two want to go mouse hunting in the straw, but that yo doesn't want to, them to. See, she's listening. Her ears are perked up and she's listening to what's going on. She can't, she knows that something's happening, but she doesn't know what it is. Whereas Ebony can hear and see it. Isn't that right? So you can see, flapping my hand at her eyes, she closes her eye, thinking I'm gonna hit her eye. This year doesn't see it. But if I touch her, she'll rush away. See, she bumped into that yo and stopped. So her, her sense of smell and hearing have been uh, heightened to tell what's going on. I'm not sure what happened to her, how she got blind. Um, it could be a neurological thing because her eyes are very clear, but she can't see a thing. And as long as she's with the flock, she's okay. And I always have to keep an eye on her if, um, I'm moving the flock or something. Cause if she panics, she'll run right into you cause she can't see you if you're standing still. So you always have to be aware of where she is. Because if she runs right into you, she's going full pelt. There's no brakes or adjustment for you blocking her way because she doesn't know you're there. So having a blind sheep is not necessarily very uh, health conscious. See, she hears the dog, but she can't see it. You can see how she's adjusting her eye to my doing things in front of it, whereas she wouldn't.